Vivi and her classmates take a field trip to the beach to study tide pools. With help from her teacher and a park ranger, Vivi and her friends make aquascopes, participate in a marine-inspired scavenger hunt, and learn about different species that call the ocean home. At the end of their trip, there's one more surprise for Vivi. Hey reading friends, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Maggie, and this is Maggie Reads. I'm in my rain nook and big Joe beanbag, and today's book is Vivi Love Signs, written by Kimberly Durning and Shelley R. Joannis, illustrated by Joelle Murray. Vivi loved science. She loved learning about nature and planet Earth. She especially loved the ocean and everything that lives in it. That's why Vivi was so excited. Today her class was going to the beach. Vivi sat next to her lab partner, Graham, on the bus. She made a list of things she wanted to investigate when they got there. I hope we see a dolphin, she said. Did you know that some dolphins can stand underwater for up to 15 minutes? Wow, said Graham. I wish I could do that. Beach wish list. Find seashells, go crab hunting, look for eel caves, and spot dolphins. When they arrived at the store, their science teacher, Miss Costao, said, Today we're going to study tide pools. We might start spot starfish, crabs, or even a jellyfish. Vivi raised her hand. Did you know that jellyfish have lived on Earth longer than dinosaurs and sharks? That's true, said Miss Costao. Jellyfish have been around for at least 500 million years. Science scientists think they are the oldest animals on our planet. Sharks have only been here for around 400 million years, said Vivi. Are sharks fish? asked Graham. Yes, said Miss Costao, said. Sharks are fish because they breathe underwater. Did you know that the biggest shark is called a whale shark, said Vivi. Whale sharks can be 40 feet long. What's the smallest shark, asked Mia. The dwarf, lan the dwarf lantern shark, said Vivi. They are six inches long and their bellies light up. Right, said Miss Castell. You'll be a great marine biologist someday, Vivi. Now let's make aquascopes so we can see underwater, said Miss Castell. Everyone raced over to picnic tables where Park Ranger was setting out supplies. Graham decorated his aquascope with duct tape. Vivi glued some seashells around the edge of hers. This looks fantastic, she said. Ranger Earl led them through the dunes to the, to the beach. Vivi and her friends were careful to stay on the path, away from the nesting birds and delicate grasses. Does anyone know how a tide pool is created? Ranger Earl asked. Vivi raised her hand. When the tide comes in, water collects in pools that plants and animals live in. When the tide goes out, the pools are still there. You got it, said Ranger Earl. The tide is low now, so we should have lots of tide pools to investigate. Everyone work with your lab partner, said Miss Costell, and be sure to record what you find on your scavenger hunt worksheet. Let's look for a big pool, said Vivi to Graham. They raced toward the rocks. There's one, Graham pointed to a large pool of water. You go first, and I'll record the data. Vivi peered into the water with her aquascope. Wow, she said, I think I see an anemone. Graham checked off sea anemone on the list. Vivi called out each animal she spotted, snails, baby clams, barnacles, four hermit crabs, a minnow. Do you see any plants? Graham asked. There's some seaweed and algae, Vivi said. Do you want to look? Graham put his aquascope into the water. Mussels, a starfish, a sea urchin. There are a ton of shells too. Vivi spotted a big seashell near the tide pool. She picked it up and held it to her ear. This sounds just like the ocean, she said, but it's really air traveling through the shell. Graham listened to it too. He said, sounds like waves to me. I wonder who lived in the shell, said Vivi. Maybe a giant crab, said Graham. 
Let's put it back, said Vivi, so someone will move in again. Vivi pointed at a flat rock, closer to the water's edge. Let's see if anything lives th under there, she said. It's an excited, excellent hiding place, said Graham. Maybe we'll even spot an eel. Together, Vivi and Graham turned over the rock. What's that, said Graham. It looks like a toad. Look over here. We found a huge fish, Vivi yelled. The entire class raced over to see what Vivi and Graham had discovered in the tide pool. We need to get that fish back into the ocean, said Mia. It's running out of water. Wait, I don't think we should touch it, Vivi said. You're right, Vivi, Miss Castell said. Let's ask the ranger. She'll know what to do. That is a plain fin midshipman, Ranger Earl said. This fish buries itself in wet sand and mud when, the pro when protecting its nest. Graham pointed to the little orange circles stuck to the bottom of the rock. What's that stuff? That must be her eggs, said Vivi. Actually, those are his eggs, Ranger Earl explained. His? Mia said. Yes, the dad stays with the, the nest until the eggs hatch, Ranger Earl said. How long does that take, Vivi said. The dad protects and cleans the eggs for weeks and weeks, said Ranger Earl. Sometimes there are hundreds of eggs. I'm glad we didn't move him, said Mia. You were right not to move him, said Ranger Earl. Whenever we're in nature, it's important to look at animals and not touch. Plus, this is his home, and we're just visitors, Vivi said. Ranger Earl led the class along the water's edge. They spotted something lying in the sand. What is that? asked Mia. Be careful, that's a jellyfish, Ranger Earl said. Do they bite? Graham asked. No, jellyfish don't have teeth, Vivi said. Right, most jellyfish have tentacles like this one, Ranger Earl said. They can still sting when they're out of the water. Before you leave, you can each pick one shell to take home, Ranger Earl said. Just make sure it's empty. Vivi and Graham hunted for the perfect shells. Graham found a white scallop shell, but Vivi kept searching until she found something unexpected. A shark tooth, she said. Good eyes, Ranger Earl said, inspecting Vivi's treasure. Is that tooth 400 million years old? Asked Graham. Probably not, said Ranger Earl, but it could be 100 years old. As the class headed back to the bus, Vivi and Graham took one last look at the ocean. I think I see a shark, Graham shouted. Just then, something big jumped out of the water. It's a dolphin, said Vivi. No, it's a whole dolphin family. Vivi smiled. She loved field trips and the ocean, and she loved science best of all. Vivi Science Facts, Aquascope, an underwater viewing device you can build your own. Beach, the pot of the shore cobbled, covered with sand or pebbles and ocean or lake. I love the beach. Miss Castell, my science teacher, she has the same last name as a super French undersea explorer named Jacques Castell. Dolphin. <laughs> Dolphins. That's, that's Jacques Cousteau. Jacques. Jacques Cousteau, sorry. <laughs> Dolphins look like a huge fish, but they are actually mammals. They breathe air and are super smart. Dolphins are my favorite animals. Dunes, ridges of sand created by the wind and or water. Dunes can be found in deserts or near lakes and oceans. Sil Sylvia Earl, a famous marine biologist who has led more than 100 expeditions and spent more than 7,000 hours under the sea. Jellyfish, did you know that jellyfish aren't made of jelly and aren't even fish? They are marine invertebrates, which means they don't have spines. Jellyfish are one of the oldest animals on Earth. Marine biologist, someone who studies all life in the ocean. I want to be a marine biologist. Nest, a shelter made by young animal for its eggs and young. Most people think nests are only for birds, but we found the plain fin midshipman in its nest. Ocean, a ginormous body of salt water. 
There are five oceans on our planet, Pacific, Atlantic, Indian, Southern, and Arctic. Planfin midshipmen, sometimes called the toadfish, the dadfish is in charge of guarding the eggs until they hatch. Science, a system of observations and experiments used to ask and answer questions about the natural world. I love science. Seashell, a hard protective case created by the animal that lives in the ocean. Shark, a fast swimming fish that lives in salt water. Like jellyfish, sharks don't have bones, but they do have lots of teeth. Tide, in most places there are two high tides and two low tides a day. High tide is when the water is, at, is highest. Low tide is when the water is lowest. This is the best time to find tide pools. Did you know that tides are caused by the moon, the sun, and gravity? Cool, right? Tide pool. When the tide comes in, water collects in small pools of different sizes and depths. Plants and animals live in these pools, surviving as the tide goes in and out. Waves. Most ocean waves are caused by wind. Sometimes waves start thousands of miles offshore. I hope you enjoyed me reading Vivi Loves Science. If you did, a link to the book is in the description below. Also, click that like button. It helps me to know which books you've enjoyed since YouTube channels like mine, whose content is made for kids, can't receive comments anymore. If you're a subscriber, thank you. And if you're a new viewer, please consider clicking subscribe or asking your parents to on their account. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at TV and my website at maggereads.com. Chase Rainbows, Choose kindness. See you next time.